Hey, it's Kia and I am doing the My Black is Beautiful tag that was created by Terry of Perfume Lover 80 and AI The Great. Definitely check out those ladies' channels. They have amazing content, great videos, collections out of this world. So do check them out and show them some love. So I'm participating in this tag and I want to thank Nisha of Spicy Looks. There's Paula um, of Paula Bianca. There is, did Pam tag me? Pam Jewelry, hey girl. I don't know, but we all doing this. We all participating. Thank you. Um, I do appreciate it. And I want listen when i do these tags or challenges i want everyone to participate and when i say that i'm not kidding like seriously whether it's my break at work lunch break before i go to bed like i'm literally watching all videos and i like to see <laughs> you guys do these tags and challenges and stuff i think they're great ways to get to know each other um know our collections so please do it I'm gonna call you out specifically so that you could do it. Like, I want to see this. I think it's such a cute idea um, and a fun tag, so please. So I, um, I had to write down some names because I didn't wanna get in front of the camera and forget. I wanted to make sure that we had some um, people participating because I'm calling you out and hopefully you'll do it. So I'm gonna start with some guys, I'm like, um, I am good to, to jump in on this. Solomon's Vineyard, Mr. Russell Mack, um, and DJ Streets for my guys. And then there's um, quite a few ladies. Hey, girls, let's get into this tag. Um, Cons and Coco Pebs. Um, Sal. Sal Beaton. Um sophisticated lady i need to see her do this too um and then annie um i'm newer to her channel as a subscriber and i would love to see her black bottles and debbie riccio 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 i'm sorry if i'm mispronouncing that but please if you have not been tagged already please jump on the tag let's show our beautiful black bottle. So let's get started. I have about 10 and a bonus. <laughs> um, and let's get into it. So the first one that I want to talk about is this 2016 MFK creation, my Burberry Black. You guys, when I started this fragrance journey, this was one of the first scents that I got into that was deep and a little bit more decadent and rich. And I was undecided about it for a hot second, but then I just knew I had to have it. This is so good, guys. There's candy, roses, peach, nectar, amber, and patchouli in this one. Um, it's a black bow on it. Black is in its name. It's one of my black bottles. The next one I have is a 2019 release, Black Opium Neon. This is your coffee-based fragrance with jasmine. And in this version, they have some passion fruit in it. It's such a cute bottle. I had to have it. It's glittery with some texture, the hot pink. It's so me. So um, <laughs> I had to get it. This version is actually a lot sweeter than... Um, some of the other versions that were released. There's Sweet Passion Fruit. The coffee to me comes second in this one, but it's just standard coffee fragrance. If black opium was too much for you, Britney Spears prerogative. It's actually a nice fragrance, guys. This, um, I actually picked this up because Elisa of the Curious Perfumer said it was tiramisu. tiramisu. And so coffee fragrances for me, just do it for me. So 
if you're into or want to get into trying a coffee fragrance but um, don't want to go the black opium route or some of the more expensive routes this one is a good introductory coffee fragrance i love it and i think it's cute the pink and black again the next one is rihanna's red la Flor love always this bottle is black and sleek um it's the more intense version of red la Flor. this is your it's a tuberose based fragrance so it's going to be a warm floral it feels rich it has plum in it um there's coconut water it's described as a fruity chipra um, and so there's tuberose, violet, and hibiscus in this, and it's so, very much of a grown woman. Um, I definitely put this in that warm, floral, bold, sexy, grown florals such as um, So Scandal, CK Euphoria, Gucci Rush. This goes right in there with them. The next fragrance I have for you Is this baby toy boy by Moschino? You guys, I bought this <laughs> little tiny bottle because I love the women's version so much. I knew I wanted to try the men's version, especially after hearing that it was a rose based fragrance. So, this little bear, I'm addicted to this. Like, I'm getting a full bottle. I'm just I just am um, so this would be considered your rose fresh spicy woody fragrance for me is very unisex um, is described as the man's tender side it's just addictive is it's light again it said fresh fresh spicy and I think fresh soft spicy I think so and I'm definitely need me a black lacquered bear bottle the next one I have for you is another mini and it is this mini Versace crystal noir now this tag is about black bottles so I had to pull this one out this one is a fragrance that I really, really, really wanted to love, and I absolutely don't like it. Like, it has all of the elements. I mean, it's a spicy, soft, spicy floral with the coconut. You think it'd be somewhat related to the Rihanna Red La Flora fragrance, but it's just a fragrance that I can't figure out why I can't get with. I feel like there's some spices in it that just don't resonate with me at all. Um, but this bottle is so beautiful. Um, I love all of these, uh, Versace bottles, but the black one is the most beautiful one to me. And so I have a baby mini, even though I don't like it. Cause I, I honestly got it too, because I just wanted to know if I'd ever liked the scent. So I have that one. The next fragrance that I have is love by sofia vergara this is a fruity gourmand i would call it a light fruity gourmand it's not a deep rich um fragrance i think it's just your standard everyday gourmand fragrance there's some coffee and vanilla in it i think it's just kind of one of those mass appealing um introductory coffee kind of fragrances i actually cannot smell any coffee in this i think it adds to the richness of it um i was actually more disappointed when i got this one however i felt like it's a great layering fragrance if you need to add that kind of warm richness to something this is a good layering fragrance and besides i had to get the matching counterpart to sophia by sophia vergara because that one is great the next one that I have is this baby. Um, I talked about this in my recent haul video. This is a delicious, stunning, I want to call it chai pudding because that's what it smells like to me. It's like a spiced 
pudding with some oud. Um, it does have the coffee Indian dessert note in it, um, but it's, it's just delicious, rich, opulent, sexy. Um, I, look, I definitely look forward to giving it some wear this fall. We're down to our last two. And this one is another one from my haul video. This is Dolce & Gabbana, the only one in tents. You guys, um, if you saw that video, you know I love this one. And again, it is delicious. It is the coconut of the coconut. It has florals in it. I just really find it a an alluring coconut where you don't feel like you're running to the beach. Like it could just be worn anytime. It's warm, it's sultry, it's alluring. It's an amazing fragrance. I like that one. Last on this list. Okay. So I'm a fan of Dolce & Gabbana, the one. So that's where the only one intense came from. And before I had that, I had the one desire. So this one guys was a 2013 release. It is, it's just, so good. This is, you have mainly what resonates with my nose is the caramel and vanilla that's in it. You do have some white flowers and surprise, surprise, there's tuberose in this, but I don't get tuberose like I get in this one or many of my other tuberose fragrances. What stands out predominantly is that vanilla and caramel. It does have some citrus and lychee at the top. Um, so this is definitely a fragrance I spray on when it's storming outside, it's raining. It feels comforting without making me feel tired or like wanting to go to bed. For me, the caramel and vanilla together is delicious and I like this one. Okay, so I do have a bonus fragrance. And it's a bonus fragrance because I am doing a challenge with Winter Michelle and I am Jay Holloway. They have um, YouTube ch YouTube channels, um, and they did a challenge for us frag heads to try and challenge ourselves to wear one fragrance for a full work week. So that's five days, daytime wear only, because a lot of us switch up at night. Um, and today is day two. So the fragrance that I chose for this week is Gucci Guilty Black Pour Femme. So this one is described as a soft, spicy, fruity, powdery scent. Um, a lot of people liken it to being date night sexy scent, which it is. It has those um, fruits in it of raspberry and peach, and then it has lilac and violet in it that gives it the powdery scents. So it's a sexy powder. It's a beautiful fragrance. I've been wearing it. I'm really not a fan of a lot of powdery scents. So I challenge myself not only to wear one fragrance, but to find an appreciation for powdery scents. I do think this is a nice one, um, but I just really wanted to experience it more than being like, oh, it's a powdery fragrance. So um, check out my IG later this week. I hope to have some notes down to tell you about this one, but a lot of people love this one. Um, it's grown woman, it's sexy, it's comforting and inviting. So I definitely see it as a come hither kind of date night scent. Um, it's not gonna be too bold and um, in his face, but it is gonna be like, come sit close to me. You know, I am friendly, but I do smell good and I am sensual, so. That's Gucci Guilty Black. That's all for my black bottles.